Hello everybody. Welcome to uh, EC's workshop. Today, I posted a video. <coughs> Excuse me. I posted a video about a uh, AR-15 wall mount, display wall mounts, and uh, I got to looking at them and everything else, and studying, and looking at them, hanging on the wall, and I got to thinking about something. I decided I'm gonna modify it. So I took them down, and uh, what I did, you know, I took them down, and you got your two screws here, and then you come with these little plastic pieces that you put in the plaster walls, and then you screw them in there. Well, I got to thinking about it, so I tried it. I built me a little. I had me some plaster around here. I built me a little front. I mounted it on there. And I put those little plastic pieces, they were held the gun real good. But taking it on and off, you eventually start working it loose and working the plaster loose. So I got thinking, okay, so I mounted two screws on the stud. And that worked out pretty good for a while. But I was sitting there thinking about it. I thought, well, if I went crooked, I could probably get to this one and this one. If I went crooked, you know. I could probably do this and this. That way my gun sits in an angle. And I said, well, a person could, you can't read. You get locks that you pass through here. But most of your lock, gun locks are ain't long enough. I had a lock laying here somewhere. I forgot what happened to it. And you pass through here and you go around your gun to lock it on this thing. Well, if somebody wanted to find out, they could jerk on this, they're going to probably take it off the wall. Even with the little screws you put in there. So, I did a modification. What I did, I came in here and dropped my hole. This big hole on this side is just for the head of this boat. All right, I can take this boat, pass it through here, pass it through there, barely clears, and put it in the stud of the wall. Okay? The gun will come down over this, over the hole. And if you got a lock on, let's say you got a lock on it. You can't get the gun off of here to get to that boat there. And see it's in the it you put this in the stud. You can cock the gun this way, use this hole and this hole into a stud in the wall and then put these two hole screws here in plaster. They'll bypass the stud. Put them little plastic things in the wall, holes in the wall. But you got this big old bolt sticking in there. I'm pretty sure if they wanted the gun hard enough, they could probably break this, but I kind of doubt it. I ain't tried it to see about breaking it. Because I got them on my wall, this plan, on my wall, you know, and I got, you know, my military pictures and stuff on the wall and with my dad's and his flag and everything. It's on the wall, but I got the two guns mounted on both sides like it with pictures in the middle. But I put them in the studs, this in the studs. That's the way I had it. I took this and I'll bring out here to show you what I've done. So this video is just going to be a modification to these mounts. So a person can uh, do a little bit of modification to them if they wanted to or just leave it alone. But these are pretty good for just what you want to do. I wish I'd like to have one made out of stain, I mean aluminum. I thought about it and I've been looking at how big this piece is. That'd be a big old chunk of aluminum. But I thought about trying to make one out of aluminum. Just see if it'll work. All right, people. Y'all be safe and be good. Keep shooting. You got to keep that aim up. Because one day, we may be called upon. Thank you for watching. EC's Workshop. And, we'll, and if you like my video, click like, subscribe, and the bell so you'll be notified when I post something new. Thank you for watching. And we'll catch y'all in the field.